Well, good morning from Las Vegas. You are looking uh, basically at the uh, Flamingos uh, Grand Vacations uh, little pool area. And of course, uh, way across the way is the actual Flamingo uh, Hotel. And uh, yeah, my first live stream from uh, Las Vegas. Uh, it is uh, day three. I hope that uh, everything is going well. Let me... Uh, just clip this on here. <clears throat> not sure if uh, people got the notifications or not. Hey, Vin. Hey, Mike. How are you? <coughs> Just woke up. It is day three. It is uh, in uh, about two hours or so, I will be uh, entering flight A of uh, one of the tournaments for the World Series of Poker that I, uh, I signed up for and uh, had a good night's rest. Which is good. Hey, Auntie Mambo. Hey, Vin. Uh, Tetrazium, Nilsa. Good morning. Um, and uh, just an impromptu uh, kind of live stream to give you a bit of a tour of the room. Now, I got this room just so if you are interested in hotel rooms and staying in Vegas and things like that. Carlitos, good morning. Um, I got this room super cheap. Um, Hey, Spider Fresh, how are you? So there's no vending machines. Well, I guess I could walk over to the cake vending machine. <laughs> <coughs> but, um, yeah, I'm a Hilton member, of course. And uh, I... Hey, Janet, how are you? See, I'm on, I'm on your guys' time zone, which is kind of weird, right? You, you guys probably don't expect me to live stream at this time. Um, but I got this room for 2,400 Hilton points. Uh, I get points every year. It's a timeshare thing, as you guys all know. Um, for 10 days, that's 240 points a night. Um, I get like, I don't even know how many points, like 50,000 or whatever it is a year. Uh, no, 25,000 a year or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I picked this suite up a couple uh, months ago uh, when they were having a sale, uh, kind of a flash sale thing. Now the World Series of Poker is going on, so all like all the uh, the Flamingo, the Horseshoe, the Paris, uh, the Cromwell, uh, all the, the the hotels right directly around the poker room areas, insanely busy, insanely busy. Uh, hey Debbie McKee, how are you? Um, it's it's just been crazy for what I've been here forty hours or so. Um, I'm on a losing streak. I, everything I touched, I lost that. Um, I played a poker tournament yesterday. Um, no vending machines. I know, right? I played a, uh, a, uh, a poker tournament at the Horseshoe. Uh, it's just like a house tournament. They have daily tournaments and stuff like that. Um, I did okay. Uh, still, I didn't buy, uh, finish in the money, but, uh, getting my skill up, uh, in, Live uh, gaming uh, is something I haven't been able to do for a while, obviously, because I don't do it in Japan. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. Hey, mom, how are you? I'm sorry that you're sleeping, um, but I am on your time zone. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of, sh kind of show you the room here, um, kind of show you what uh, the view I have. If you didn't see it at the beginning there. Um, in the thumbnail, um, I actually, my, my window is, you can see my window from the thumbnail kind of style of thing. Uh, I won $50 in Niagara Falls Casino. Awesome. Uh, you guys don't want to know how much I'm down. Like I'm, oh, I'm hurting, <laughs> but you know, I played some slots. Uh, <coughs> some of the moderators, uh, saw me play that damn bubble magic. It still got me. Uh, I know it's this bubble magic thing. Uh, hello, uh, Moko. Good morning, um, Mogawa. Was that what it says, Mogawa? I can't read very well. Um, played video poker. Played some table games. Uh, haven't done well at all, which kind of sucks. Um, been getting sleep though, which is you know weird for Las Vegas. Uh, a lot of people just don't sleep, um, but I'm, I guess I'm not smart, but 
I was, uh, I went up to In-N-Out Burger last night and I can prove it. There's the remnants of In-N-Out Burger. Um, so I got to have that and uh, I was happy that way. I had Panda Express for lunch. Having all these, uh, all these things, it's been, it's kind of a bit of a culture shock coming back. Um, which is, which is, you know, it is what it is. Um, but you know, I haven't done so much walking. I did a bit of shopping. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit more shopping. Not today. Uh, I'm literally in an hour and 45 minutes going to be over the horseshoe, uh, entering my first tournament. So, uh, unfortunately though, there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, um, just to wait. I had to wait in line to actually get into the registration thing. Um, and you got to pick up a ticket and yada, yada, yada. And it took me three hours, literally three hours of standing in line. There was that many people. Um, and then you can, you can also uh, register online, but then you still have to go and verify and all these things. So um, yeah, wish me luck, guys. Um, I'm, I'm nervous. Um, obviously, I'm going to be playing with a lot of professionals. And I just want to see how I fare, you know, and uh, this is my dream. And I think that, uh, you know, uh, living your dream, acquiring your dream, whether you, you know, negative, positive, doesn't matter. Uh, this is, uh, this is huge, man. This little bird keeps on, I got a picture I'm going to post on Instagram, but this little bird keeps coming on my windowsill. Mm. Um... NFL boy, Brandon, how are you? Um, but yeah, went downstairs, got a coffee, Starbucks, uh, in, inside this hotel. Uh, $5 and almost 6 bucks for a venti coffee. Best deal I found. Actually, mom told me to go to Starbucks and get like, this is a pike place or something um, to get coffee. So I got coffee. It is no smoking. Socks. I thought, oh, I'll open up the window. No. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Or Unstable Freak, how are you? Um, so, I have faith in you. You'll be fine. I hope so. Um, I hope the reception is good. I'm, I'm trying to use Wi-Fi. Um, this is my SIM card phone, but it didn't work too well, so I'm actually using my Japanese phone. So I hope the picture is pretty clear for you guys. Um... But yeah, let me uh, give you kind of a, a little bit of a, a room tour around. I was actually surprised when I walked into this room. <coughs> I'm expecting just a little bed, um, you know, one piece bathroom. And uh, well, here, let, let's kind of show you. Um, uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Some of you might know what that is. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the uh, looking out, out the window here into uh, the pool uh, area. Now the Hilton has a small little pool. So this here is, uh, I guess that's like a hot tub or something, so, whatever. Uh, and that's the size of the pool. That's it. And this is uh, part of the Hilton Grand Vacations. Now the Flamingo actual hotel is all of this here. And I don't know if you guys can see through. I'll, I'll zoom in as much as I can. You see that little bit of pink there? There is a, it's the go. So they have day parties um, over there. The music is blaring like crazy, even through these windows and through the walls um, up until, I don't know, 6 p.m. or something like that. But that is uh, the flamingo here. And then, yeah, we just uh, hopefully can see here uh, you got like a little little two-seater where I was sitting king-size bed so kind of happy for that I have no idea what the hell these uh, these things are here <coughs> but actually it's pretty cheap got my uh, smokes from duty free got all my electronic equipment of course uh, to film and things like that and then you got this whole you know storage area um, the TV, pretty big. It's pretty nice to uh, see, of course. And, uh, oh, look at that. What's that? 
I brought that for somebody. Um, but yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a, I guess, studio. Uh, I guess what you call, you have a little, a little kitchenette. The refrigerator, it, it moves, it's not bolted in. Hey Holger, how are you? Um, and things like that, but uh, I can make coffee if I wanted to, but their coffee is weak ass shit and uh, teas. I don't like these uh, kind of style coffees anyways. So, but you know, it does come pretty generic kind of plates and things like that. For those of you that are interested, it looks like the time is wrong. It's 8.07 in the morning. Um, toaster, woohoo, can have toast or bagels. Nice. And then as I turn around here, closet, you know, it is what it is. It's closet safe, hang clothes and stuff. But I was surprised because they actually have this big ass tub right here, which surprised me. So I thought uh, it would just be like a shower, but uh, got a little bit of a, a, a tub. Go Not as big as the one I had uh, at the Alara, but uh, this is only a King Studio um, room. But it looks decent enough, you know? The sad part is that the shower is actually into the toilet area, which is kind of weird. But yeah, that's uh, about it, really. Um, still cheap enough. I don't pay uh, resort fees or anything like that. Um, this, you know what, honestly, for what I'm doing, this is good enough. I'm not going to spend my life in this room while I'm here. I'm going to be out playing poker and uh, do, you know, doing all kinds of different things. But I like the view in a way. There is no lifeguard on duty here, but uh, hey Maisie, um, some people are taking advantage. Uh, the kids um, are here. Uh, they're clean. He's been cleaning that for an hour. So it's nice to, uh, to see uh, the upkeep of the room. It's a nice room, son, good enough for one person. Yeah, I think so too, you know? Um, I think it's, uh, Decent enough. And the other part, oh yeah, the other part of it is, <coughs> make sure I got my room key. Hold on. Well, hopefully I don't get locked out. Is it's one of these kind of style things. I'll just put my shoe here. So it's uh, out into the foyer. That's the other room there. And then you have to actually come through this room. And then you uh, are out into the hallway kind of style, style thing. This is the, the Las Vegas monorail right here. And uh, the stop is just right over there if I wanted to go along the monorail. But yeah, it's uh, de de decent enough for uh, one person, absolutely. Yeah, it is like a little apartment, I guess. You know, not too bad. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Uh, I know I haven't uh, live streamed yet, uh, and I'll, I'll be out walking uh, when I can uh, for the live streams and stuff, but I just wanted to kind of have a coffee with you guys, say good morning. Uh, I did make it. Uh, my flights were delayed, um, which kind of sucked. Um, one flight, uh, Tokyo to Seattle was delayed a bit. Uh, but then, then, uh, I was with Jason M, um, and his family, they came all the, they, they came all the way from their house up to the airport to see me for an hour. Like how amazing is that, eh? Um, but I had to rush back in and then I found out my flight was delayed by another hour. So that kind of sucked. Hey, Christian Funk, how are you? Good morning. Um, but yeah, that's uh, kind of what's been going on. Day one wasn't the greatest. Uh, by the time I fell asleep, I was on Japan time. I'm not jet lagged anymore because um, I have my little tricks of how to uh, fight jet lag. Um, I basically stayed up in Japan time from 6 a.m. until about 10 p.m. No. 3 a.m. or something stupid like that, uh, Japan time. So over 36 hours I was awake. Um, 
but then I had a good night's sleep uh, two nights ago and uh, woke up yesterday. Uh, yesterday was better than the day before. Um, but yeah, everything I'm touching, I'm losing. I just Everybody give me heart. If you're part of the Emoji Club, okay? Give me some hearts in the chat, please. I need all the love I can get. <laughs> oh, God. It just is not a... It's day three, so I'm hoping lucky three. I don't know. Every, every day is going to be a lucky number. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I just... Uh, that's what, what's happening. I just want to give you an update. Um, hey, Luann, how are you? Thank you for the hearts, Vin. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Um, yeah, it is weird to see... Not many people. Hey, IB Rebecca, how are you? It's hot. Oh, I got to turn on the air con. Oh, I can actually have air con on. I can control the heat and the, the, the air con because we all know, of course, I'm not allowed to use air con back home in Japan. <laughs> I have freedom, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I have actual freedom. So um, thanks, guys. I really appreciate the hearts really do um so yeah i'm gonna be busy oh and uh it's mikey m's hey uh traveling gabriel how are you hey at work watching gotta love it john mckee how are you um we'll see you on sunday gabe um i i know a few people are coming a couple people are coming uh, i know ramsey silent will be showing up um knight riders gal uh star gem uh i've already met up with the crapple quists uh, Reed was gracious to pick me up. Uh, he loaded me up with a few drinks, which was really nice. Uh, I'm going to probably get together with them, I hope. If I last today, um, of course, in the tournament that I'm in right now, it's uh, flights A today, B tomorrow, uh, C the next day, and uh, D. There's four flights or four days of playing poker. If I can last today, then I will um, join up with all the, the leftover people from each day. And then we all come together and play the rest of the tournament, tournament out. Uh, if I can last today, um, then I'm hoping I could be close. Uh, I just want to hit the bubble, which is, uh, or get, get past the bubble a little bit, um, which is uh, into the money. But uh, yeah, I'm just here and I'm happy. Um, I know Jason Pointer, uh, he told me to go down to the Cosmopolitan um, to try a Nashville chicken sandwich. But maybe I'll wait for Knight Rider's Gal to get here. <laughs> uh, well, go luck at, there in Las Vegas. I have to go to Denver to win. Good luck to you, uh, Tetrazium. That would be great. Get into the bubble. Yeah, it would. I know uh, Gabe probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, I just, I didn't expect what's going on. Um, what did I see here? Christian, what did Christian say? Testing for COVID, I hope you feel better. Oh, you got to be ready for Vegas. Bet on black for me. I don't know what it is about this bet on black thing, but, hmm. No idea. Anyways, um, are you guys giving hearts from like what I said five minutes ago? <laughs> this chat is really weird. Oh, well. But <coughs> there is a couple, um, you know, games that I want to play. Also, table games. Um, DJ Wild. Uh, deuces are wild with a, a joker and you get to make your best five card hand or something like that. Uh, a couple of the table games, you know, if I, hey Rachel, how are you? Little miss, I went on a cruise ship. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not uh, seriously, any serious gambling is poker, of course. Um, and then because I'm here alone, there's nothing else for me to do. 
Uh, but once, you know, a couple people come in, um, and if I do have the time, of course, we're going to be hanging out. Um, I think I'm going to get together with about 10 people, I think, on my birthday. Mom, Papa Mike, Ramsey Silent, Traveling Gabriel and his friend, Star Jen and Alex, Crapplequists, Mikey in Vegas, hopefully. So yeah, 10 people or so. So that'd be nice. Hey, Jeremy, how are you? Um, and it is Mikey uh, in Vegas's birthday today, so he's probably sleeping right now, but uh, um, I'll probably contact him. I don't know if he's working or, hey, Sandra Butler, how are you? I don't know if he's working or uh, what he's doing, but yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm relaxed. That's the most important thing is, you know, like once I got out of, I needed to get out of Japan. I needed to get away from uh, the wife and uh, uh, work and uh, just not, ha not have a schedule. Uh, you know, obviously living in Japan, everything is schedule based. Um, you know, you wake up, you catch the same train every morning, you take this many steps and yada, yada, yada. You know, like I woke up at six o'clock this morning, two hours ago. I... Um, because this is obviously a no smoking uh, area, um, the, uh, oops, sorry. Oh, there we go. Um, the, uh, you gotta go for a walk outside. Um, so I walked over, <laughs> it's funny, is um, I walked over to the Cromwell um, and I sat down just to have a smoke and a coffee and, uh, I put 30 bucks in the video poker. I know mom, I played video poker, but you know, just played five cent, um, 10, 10, 10 bets. So 50 cents a hand. Um, I made 20 bucks this morning. So <coughs> just playing, uh, having a couple smokes, uh, playing video poker. I hit two straight flushes. So that paid me like 500 nickels twice. But I was, whatever that works out to. How many is 500 nickels? That's like 25 bucks each, right? 500 nickels, 25 bucks, some of that. But um, just taking it as steady as I can. Um, I haven't, uh, I, I pretty much explored um, all the center strip areas. So I've been to uh, the Paris, I've been to, uh, yep, for 500 nickels, cool. Um, I've been to the, the Paris, I've been to the Horseshoe, the Flamingo, Harrah's, uh, the Link, O'Shea's, Casino Royale, that was pretty cool. Small little casino, uh, just kind of walking. I found $3 jumbo hot dogs. Um, after I ate $17 worth of Panda Express. It's so expensive here, people. Oh, I'm pretty sure you guys are normal. Or you think, Drew, 17 bucks isn't that bad, actually. But it is to me. You know, like, uh, the, same, the same Panda Express I can get back in Japan will cost me 1,200 yen. Here, it cost me $17 and with the, with the um, exchange, it was double the price, 2,400 2, yen. Uh, and I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. Um, yeah, I got like two. I got, uh, I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but I got chow mein, uh, orange chicken, and the walnut shrimp, and a bottle of uh, Coke Zero. 1707 or something like that. It was just absolutely insane. In and Out Burger, I was massively baked. So I got like a, a number one combo, which is like a double cheeseburger, fries, and a Coke. And then I got another cheeseburger. <laughs> Did I say I was baked? Um, and that was like 15 bucks, so a little bit cheaper. But then I found, I found, uh, I think it's in uh, Casino Royale or something. Like, Foot long hot dogs for three bucks. You can't go wrong. Well, I'm not gonna eat freaking hot dogs the whole time I'm here, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
I thought, and uh, just refreshing. See, even my own stream, I got a refresh, and uh, only 14 likes. You guys really don't like me today, or what? <laughs> it's not like Japan, right? <laughs> you should have gone to lobster me and got a lobster sandwich. <coughs> well, that's way over at the Miracle Mile, Mum, which I just don't feel like walking way over there. Um, and at 20 bucks, yeah, it was good. And mom, like last, last year, mom bought me a, I think it was mom or Mindy's mom or somebody, I think it was mom, bought me a, lo a lobster sandwich, which was really nice. But for 20 bucks, I didn't think it was that great. I want better value, but uh, I want to find a couple sandwich places here. Uh, there's a lot, there's tons of food here, people. Amazing. Um, I am going for prime rib uh, over at Ellis Island, which I can walk to. <coughs> if I go out the front of this hotel here, um, it's a literally about a six or seven minute walk uh, over to Ellis Island. Um, and they, like, I went there last year with a bunch of people, Mindy's mom, uh, Knight Rider's gal, uh, Star Jen, um, I don't know if Noel or Christmas 365 was there or not, I'm not sure, but, um, it was just amazing. 20, 20, 20 21 bucks. And I got big ass prime rib, baked potato and... So, yeah, I'm just waiting for mom to uh, get into town and uh, probably go there with her. And uh, I paid $17 for a regular burger, fries, and fountain drink in Toronto. Right, Nilsa? That's Canadian. So it's still cheaper than American. Um, mom, I'll take you there again when we go to Vegas. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's culture shock. This is uh, another thing, ladies and gentlemen, that... Uh, you know, maybe you guys would experience when you go to Japan, but I'm experiencing, I guess, what we call reverse culture shock. Um, tipping. Don't don't hate on me. Don't hate on me, please. Um, but everybody wants tips. The guy, the cleaner in the casino comes and cleans my ashtray, and he sits there and, and stands there, looking at you play and it's like, oh, do I got to tip this guy for emptying my freaking ashtray? Now the beer girls, I do know that uh, I've been watching um, and a lot of people, you know, if they order a bottle of beer or something, they're tipping like anywhere about two to three dollars per beer. Um, I've done that a couple times, mostly five bucks uh, for a beer and uh, the girls come by frequently um, one lady had a conversation with me for literally for five minutes. Um, and I was just like, okay, but, uh, yeah, it's all about tips, right? Of course. Um, but the way I look at it, you go to the bar, you're probably going to pay eight bucks. I don't know how much beer is here. Um, I don't even know. Can you, can you go get the beer that's cheaper, um, in the CVS or whatever you call that, and take it into the casino. I don't know, uh, but I don't. I don't drink that much alcohol, anyways. Um, but yeah, everything is expensive here. It, it, it's driving me nuts. Um, I heard that the food prices in Japan are going up too. Yeah. <coughs> um, yeah, my my dollar twenty nine loaf of bread is now two dollars. Uh, flour, oil. You know, we used to get like a liter of oil for cooking um, 179 to 229 and we're paying over 329 now in Japan. So yeah, a lot of prices are going up. And the sad part is though, because of all this, uh, the big C, so on and so forth, um, a lot of places, companies in Japan have not given raises and things like that. So that kind of sucks. Mr. Stu, how are you? Uh, don't feel bad for not tipping. Chances are a gratuity is already tacked on when you check your receipt. Mr. Stu, that's a good good advice. Um, I have heard about these hidden charges, so always check your receipts, especially when you go to a restaurant and they have this some 
thing. I forget what it is, but uh, Sandra Brown, my 50-year-old daughter was three years old when the last time I was in Vegas, so that was 47 years ago. I only tipped when they brought me a drink while sitting at the slot machines on the ship because we had included tips gratuity in our price we paid for the cruise. Oh, cool. Uh, is there a dollar store there? I mean, $1.25 store? <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't found one. Um... I paid three ninety nine for a one point one three kilogram, two point five pound jar of peanut butter. That's what I gotta get. I gotta get Skippy peanut butter. I gotta get all my little little Debbie cakes and Swiss rolls and all those things. So that's probably gonna be at Target. But yeah, I'm just I'm just a little shocked. Um, it is, it is nice to see, you know, people are nice. Um, it's walking around here. I'm always checking my pockets. Um, you know, I keep, I keep my wallet in my back pocket. So every five minutes I've trained myself to always check. Uh, I kind of do this when I'm sitting down, I check, I go wallet. Okay. Cell phone. I am carrying a bag with me. <clears throat> um, so it's this bag here um, so I can uh, I, I just carry this bag here with me I can wrap it right around me um, you know basically I'm walking basically around you know like this I got everything protected in the front uh, everything has zippers on it and a uh, clip so you've got to be careful with everything you do um, you know I carry my passport around God if I ever want a jackpot I would need my passport but um, and carry cash in your front pocket uh, is what I've been doing um, but yeah always checking to make sure everything is good because you never know right people in Canada were very nice awesome Mm, peanut butter, mix crackers, and celery. I keep mine in the front pocket. Um, uh, yeah, I keep it in your bag or in your front pocket. <coughs> well, I don't keep money in my wallet. Uh, I keep all the cash in my front uh, in my front pocket. So um, this way, ID you can get back. I know it's a hassle and stuff like that, but uh, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I fill my pocket up, <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I got a shit shower and shave TMI. I know Fang sleeping. Um, and I'm going to head over there in about uh, half an hour. Um, cause the lineups are going to be crazy. Uh, I got to go over, check in and, uh, I'm going to be sitting like in a room full of, uh, people. And I, I know I'm going to be shaking. And uh, even yesterday, I sat down in the poker room, and it was um, it was only like a it's a one three uh, no limit um, hold'em game, and uh, you buy in for a couple hundred bucks. And it's just a live uh, cash game. Um, I did play a tournament also yesterday. That was a hundred dollar tournament. Um, I did okay. You know, kind of got going with that. Um, once you, once I get comfortable, then then uh, the nerves kind of go down and stuff like that, right? Um, and you don't know who's at your table. Who is there a, a an amateur professional or semi professional player playing in these small games to try and get the tourists, right? Uh, the guys that are drinking and drunk and they're all loose and they're doing this and doing that. Um, so I'm watching out for that. Uh, I've been around the world enough, 30 years of playing poker. Um, I hope you like the gift Mikey is holding for you. One of you is for... What do you mean for Hiromi or Shinichi? It should be one for you and one for Hiromi. No Shinichi! <laughs> yes, good. Also, they have strawberry. Um, actually, 
here it's not it's it's not going to be that bad. It will be a high sixty five here. Well, if Hiromi doesn't like it, oh, I'll keep it. <laughs> I have an uncle who was one of those guys paid by the casino to sit at tables and drum up business. I've, I've uh, you know, we call those shills. <coughs> um, but thank you, Jeremy. I wish you could be here. I really do. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. You know, I'm relaxed. Uh, I think hopefully some of you can see how relaxed I actually am feeling. Um, I'm super stressed in Japan, of course, and kind of sucks, you know, so that's why I needed to get out and, uh, and, and to do this, right? So, uh, but yeah, I do plan on going live, uh, walking around the strip for you guys. Um, probably wait until nighttime. Obviously, it's probably a lot better. Um, and I'll just walk along the strip itself, not going inside the casinos, because actually I saw a live streamer walk in to the casino at uh, the Horseshoe uh, yesterday, and uh, I was like, oh, they allowed camera. I was surprised, but maybe they didn't catch him yet or something. One of his tips for playing good poker is don't wait for a flush. Seems likely, but it's not unless you have the high card. Assume someone else does. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I've been, play, I've been playing poker for 35 years. And uh, I used to, in, when I was in the casino business, I used to run a poker room um, for a few years. Uh, I've played poker hundreds of times, but this is my first time entering a World Series of Poker Tournament. Um, I, the smile on my face is just like, oh, I can't, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, I'm living my dream, people. And uh, it's not a big dream, but it's none nonetheless a dream that uh, I've always wanted to do. Now, uh, I have told a lot of people before, but uh, I started this uh, Las Vegas thing with a, with a bunch of people. Um, a group of us would come down, um, and we set it at my birthday. I don't know why my birthday, but uh, when I was 29, uh, 38, 47... Um, and now I'm going to be 56, uh, oh my God, in five days. Oh. I'm gutted! Um, but some of the people have passed away, so I'm basically here alone, and one of the group people is coming down on June 7th, uh, next Wednesday, um, and they're starting their vacation. They couldn't make it any earlier because of work, so at least I got one person, uh, but I'm only going to see them for like, the, the evening of uh, June 7th because I got to fly out uh, the morning of June 8th. So a bit heartbreaking, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. It is. And uh, I just wanted to, son, when you're playing in a tournament, are you allowed to have your phone with you? No. Well, you, you are allowed to look at your phone, but you're not allowed to have it on the table. Uh, you're not allowed to be pointing it in video, you know, things like that. Um... You have to, I think you have to get permission. I haven't asked yet. Um, but I do see, like, you know, people in the poker room uh, making short little videos and things like that. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure um, you're, you need authorization, uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, like, if you, if you held up your phone and you're walking, you're like, hey, guys, you know, I'm on a break from the World Series of Poker or, you know, whatever and you're walking out of the room with the poker tables, I think maybe that's okay, but um, yeah, not anything at the tables and stuff like that. I only play poker with family, Penny Annie. Are you allowed to have, have the ringer on? No. Who has the ringer on their phones? That's actually, you know, it's funny you say that, Mom, because I never have the ringer on my phones. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever in the history of cell phones. I find it annoying. And people that have their ringers on, on their phones, I find that annoying. A lot of old people have ringers on their phones. I keep mine on vibrate all the time. <laughs> I wish I could have went to Vegas. However, I had a staycation at the end of the month. Awesome. 
but yeah, it's, I'm, I'm excited. I really am, ladies and gentlemen. But I wanted, you know, I, obviously I wanted to go live uh, just to give you a bit of a room tour of this uh, um, Hilton, uh, the Flamingo Hilton Grand Vacations room, a uh, bit of the view, um, have my coffee, and I got to get ready, uh, I don't know, what, 15 minutes or so. And uh, hey, Mikey in Vegas! Happy birthday to you, yeah! Happy birthday to you, Mikey in Vegas. Happy birthday, Mr. Mike. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great day, dude. Are you working today? I was just waiting for the old people's son. Remark, son, you jerk, you. <laughs> Oh no, my coworkers are going to kill me with that singing. <laughs> oh, you're off? <coughs> okay, dude. Um, I will contact you. And uh, my plan, this is for Mikey in Vegas, of course, but my plan is uh, see how well I do here today. Um, you might, I, I hope I don't contact you until tonight. Um, but I hope you're feeling better, by the way. I know you've been going through... Drew, are you just a... Drew, you are just a funny fella. I'm a fella. I'm sad I missed my birthday serenade. Actually, Rachel, you didn't. Well, you did miss it, but everybody else didn't. I did sing to you on a live stream. I even... Li I don't think you're using Line app anymore because I actually sent you messages on Line. Some of you Americans, I'm telling you, you know, you, you join me on Line... And then you delete the app or if you're a Patreon member, and I want to say thank you to all my Patreon members too. I hope you still stick with me. Um, but yeah, join the line, of course. So yeah, Mikey, I think, uh, I know you moved, so I know you're not close to downtown anymore, but... Uh, Okay, I will find it. I didn't delete the line app, but I don't have any messages. That's weird. <laughs> Gabe, I'm still here. <laughs> if you do have line and you are my friend, send me a message just to make sure that you uh, are still connected with me in line. Um... Oh, God, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, after today's finish, I am going down to Fremont um, to experience... Uh, I don't like Fremont that much. I'm scared. Honestly, I'm scared of Fremont with uh, the shootings that have been going on, uh, the, that YouTuber guy with all that face paint or whatever. Uh, some drunk girl attacked him, but whatever. Um, so... I'm kind of scared to live stream. I don't know how Americans are going to take me live streaming, but it seems like, you know, they're taking it quite well. Oh, Rachel, I got your message. Um, I want to visit the Pinball Hall of Fame. I want to go live stream from Pinball Hall of Fame. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, got to go to work. See you, see you Gabe. <clears throat> but right now I need to gather my thoughts. I need to um, become calm, cool, collected. And uh, yeah, I dropped a $1,000. Um, $1,000 on this tournament. And I, I actually, I told Mikey how much I lost yesterday. Now, triple that. Um and uh, that's what I'm in for. So I need a big turnaround, people. I really do. Eddie Chin, how are you? Good morning. Uh, Pinball Hall of Fame does sound pretty good, yeah. Um, but I've seen YouTube videos on it, and it kind of looks lame in a way. But it's still something that might be cool. I might just film it instead of live streaming it. Um, I know a couple years ago, uh, the SoCal Mod Squad bought me some SD cards for my GoPro, and I have one of on my GoPro. I couldn't find the other one to bring with me, so I'm going to film as much as I can uh, with that one SD card um, and go from there. 
uh, should be cool though. Juanina too. Hi Drew and crew. My patient called me old woman, so I guess I'm considered an old person. Keep my fingers crossed for your win today. Thank you. I appreciate it, dear. Thank you so much. Um, how is lost wages? Huh? Oh, you mean Las Vegas? You're calling it lost wages? <laughs> um, the only time I ever used old lady when I was like talking with the guys and you know, you referenced the wife or the girlfriend, yeah, the old lady, you know, that, uh, but old people, I'm telling you. Old people keep the ringer on their phones? Oh, put it on silent, put it on vibrate. Have a good time. <laughs> ah. But we will, um, I will be live, uh, walking moments. What is the meaning of life? You know, the meaning of life is Drew having a big win. That's all it is. That's all it is. Maybe I will win Powerball tonight, then I can visit Drew, so Drew sooner. Yeah, that'd be cool. I was told to uh, read from uh, the Crapplequist, uh told me to uh, go drive across the Arizona border. It's not that far to get a Powerball. <coughs> um, Mom, can you bring me a Powerball ticket, please? <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Um, wouldn't that be cruel, eh? We're in the same... Hello, Juanina, we're in the same boat. Drew calls me an old person practically every single day. I don't talk to you every day. <laughs> oh, I hate old people. Oh, they're so annoying. Oh. All right, I'll stop. With... See, I... I I do the old people thing because you guys do the bubble magic on me. Oh, my God. And all the bubble magic machines, I, I keep running into them. Every casino I go to, and I'm just like, Arr. and then I'll hear somebody playing it, and I'll hear the, and the big bubble comes out, and I'm just like, ah, bite me. Ugh. But, oh, well. Slot machines are fun to play with, play, you know? Like, don't take it too seriously. Um... Some people I see bet big, you know. Um, I don't bet that big. I think the most I ever bet was like two fifty a spin or five bucks a spin. I was playing like ten cents times fifty or something, and then I was playing uh, five cents times fifty, uh, but didn't really win. But it does add up. It goes quick if you don't get hit a bonus in your first, you know, fifty bucks, hundred bucks, or whatever. It sucks. Um, I don't like blackjack, by the way. I just, I don't have patience for blackjack, even though it's probably, and in my casino experience of table games, blackjack is one of your better games to play. If you can get the, uh, the three to two, not the six to five. Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, otherwise, uh, rude with the old people. I'm not rude. I'm old too. And you're not old, Mumbo. Hey, Sandra C., how are you? You know, on Discord, I tried posting. I, I posted it, deleted it, posted it, deleted it, because it wouldn't come up with a picture. But the, I saw on Instagram this, this guy. He's like, yeah, how to make a, the best pineapple pizza. He makes this pizza, takes it out of the oven. It's got, like, big round pineapple things on it. And he slices it, and he's like, Okay, make sure that when you slice it, each slice gets a good piece of pineapple. And then you pick it up this way and you hold it perfectly, ready to bite it. And then you throw it in the fucking garbage. And I was like, <laughs> now y'all know I like pineapple pizza, but that was the best video I've ever seen. Oh my God, it was hilarious. And I, I tried to tag you in it, but I just lost deleted the post sorry about that um good morning looky lou how are you and i don't have the ringer on my phone either <laughs> i love you auntie mambo <laughs> oh. i wanted to go get a cheap breakfast but i don't have time now um 
but over at uh, the horseshoe, um, you know, there are, oh my God. I wanted to go to Johnny Rockets. I've never had Johnny Rockets. I wanted to try a burger. And I know Ramsey Silent, he um, ate at Johnny Rockets last year, a few years ago, and said, it, you know, it's expensive. It was like $22 for a single burger. A burger! I was like, oh my God. I just turned around and left. I couldn't believe it. Um, in and out if I want a burger, hey, you know, Christ, I even almost want to get McDonald's, you know, um, I'm going there, I'm going to be there for drink Sunday before I go home, I'll be hanging with Ramsey Silent if anybody wants to join, oh, have fun. Are you <clears throat> I'm sure I'll see Ramsey Silent too. I always think you should go to Dick's Last Resort, the rudest restaurant chain. Don't know where that is that here, uh Jeremy? I have no idea. Um I do want to uh Experience some places, but I'm here for cheap food. Um, I want the best value of food for the cheapest prices. But, uh, you know, playing poker, it's, it, it's hard to get away. You know, like I find, uh, like I got back to the room 1130 last night pretty early, you know, for people in Vegas, I guess, right? But um, I'm old, you know, and uh, I'm ready for bed, you know, anywhere from 11 to 12. And it is so true as you are playing, you know, poker, slots. It's amazing how like two hours will go by. I looked at my, my watch and it was like 8.30 p.m. And then all of a sudden it was like 10, 15 p.m. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I've done nothing. You know, so you do lose a lot of... Uh, Star Jen! We'll see you soon. I like pineapple pizza. Unstable Freak, a.k.a. Jeff. I like you, dude. Anybody that likes pineapple pizza or ham and pineapple, Hawaiian, whatever. I heard a Canadian invented the ham and pineapple pizza. That's what I heard. Um, he's a friend of mine, by the way. Two, one on Fremont Street, the other one on South Las Vegas Boulevard. Okay, cool. Can you speak Japanese for 30 seconds? Uh, why? Um, would you have been there here sooner, but cleaning out, getting ready, ready for washer dryer? Just saw a notification. No worries, Sandra C. Make sure you say hi to uh, Tucker, the cutest little puppy. Sorry, the third cutest little puppy in the world after Moko and Chibi. Dicks, not ducks? <laughs> I have no idea. Do they have Chippendales? Uh, Sandra, they do have some sort of Chippendale thing down in Fremont. I don't know what it is. <coughs> I see signs the last time I was here anyways. Um, so yeah, I have no idea, to be honest. God, see, this is what I hate is this, uh, this phone is not updating and refreshing. It kind of sucks. See, and this is what pisses me off, is I see people like this. This chick, I, I watch her slots all the time. She wins like crazy. Oh, she uses a lot too, but oh well. Go see Thunder from Down Under. Um, yeah, no, Rachel. Can't wait to fly out. Work, driving me nuts. Star Gen, where are you right now? Are you uh, north of here or at home? The one not on Fremont is, is in the Excalibur Hotel. <coughs> um, I've never been to Mandalay Bay, Luxor, or Excalibur. I was thinking about going, because they got a tram, 
that you can go between all three uh, hotels. But they're all run down, in my opinion, from what I, 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 I hear. Uh, reviews like Excalibur was like... <coughs> it was built back in like, what, the early 90s or something like that. It was supposed to be like the biggest hotel at the time. Um, and it seems to be run down. Luxor, meh. Uh, I was watching Jaycation um, uh, last week, and he went and did a Luxor buffet review, and he goes, meh, probably would never go back. And Mandalay Bay, I just think, I don't even want to go near there because of the shooting last year there. Um, so, but the Pinball Hall of Fame is just past that, so I might go down there. But I'm pre predominantly around the Flamingo, uh, the Horseshoe, of course, the Paris, uh, things like that. So uh, I do want to go visit Golden Pond Silver Shop, uh, Fremont, um, and Circus Circus is another casino I really want to go play. And the Strat. The one I uh, thought you'd enjoy it at home still? Okay. Um, it's a long walk if you want to do all three. For some reason, always feel longer than anywhere else. Oh. Did you like the Excalibur when you were there in August? Well, that's right. You stayed uh, the Excalibur, didn't you? Um, Mirage is another place I want to go visit. Uh, but that's it. Like, honestly, like, between the casinos, if you're gambling... Nah, it is what it is, right? Um, I think if you want to play poker, then you should be around, you know, the Horseshoe, um, the Paris. I don't even know if the Flamingo has a poker room. I just go to Horseshoe. It's probably the, one of the better... Uh, but there is the Aria, there's the Wynn, um, a few other poker rooms. I want to go check out the Mirage poker room, because the, the Mirage is where I played poker for the first time ever. So that was pretty cool. Uh, in Las Vegas, 30 years ago, whatever it was. Um, so it kind of reminisce, uh, like it's kind of like a Natsukashi, uh, Natsukashi, Natsukashi, nostalgic, nostalgic, so... Uh, I don't need anything looky loo. I don't know if I'll, uh, I have no plans, you know, obviously to meet up with anybody. So save it. Some of the buffets, of the casinos have been converted into food courts since after the pandemic. Being converted into food courts since after the, oh, okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, I'm here, and uh, like I said, um, in less than an hour, I'll be sitting in the poker room. Um, I can't wait. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I gotta get. I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready, guys. Um, but thank you uh, for hanging out with me, doing this little bit of a room tour. <coughs> um, I am meeting up with uh, a couple of my Patreon members only, and I uh, can't wait to see you. But again, poker dictates everything. So even on my birthday, um, if I get past today, um, I might see you on my birthday at night um, after the, the, the day three break or whatever it is. Uh, but if I have you know time in the morning or you know, something like that, then, you know, by all means. But I'll see some of you. I've already talked to you personally about it. And, uh, yeah, I got to go, guys. So uh, thank you for uh, hanging out and, uh, and join this little room tour. For, for those of you that uh, joined me late, uh, I know not many joined today, but uh, this is basically a King Studio suite that I got very, very cheap. Uh, last time here. Um, it's, it's a double suite, so you come into a foyer, that's my front door, but again, I got this, <laughs> I don't get this, I wish this was kind of closed off, I guess, but again, it's a good little thing there, little kitchenette, the view, 
is not too bad, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoy your day. Uh, thank you for joining. I will be live when I can, uh, doing some street view tours, as always. Um, but uh, yeah, I got to get ready. Got to shit shower shave, get over to the horseshoe, and uh, wish me luck, people, because I freaking need it. <coughs> oh my god. I'm choking. <coughs> Seriously, I'm choking. Oh, okay. Guys, thank you. Take care. And uh, yeah, again, please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here if you want to come to the TV crew, Asylum Family, and check out my new channel, Travelations. Gotta go, guys. Have a great day.